Okay, here we are the next day. I am not looking forward to this and uh, I came up like super early to play this and uh, hopefully I will be able to at least do two more hours. Apparently the completionist run of this game would be like 13 hours or so. I think I've done like four or five but whatever. Let's start. Alright, Monica eradicated the memories of uh, Natsuki as far as I can remember. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> uh, what took you so, so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost just lost track of time. That makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you uh, played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credits than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not uh, really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Uh, but, oh well, thanks, Yuri. I hate the fact that they sometimes clip out of the fucking screen. It makes it look like more glitchy. You should play something for some time. That's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but I'm not quite... It's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little better. Yeah, she said the same shit last time, so let's just move on. In that case, I won't let you down. But so Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything. Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. Oh, right. Last time, she didn't share it for anyone. And she said... Uh, now she's saying that she wants to share it with us. Yeah, that's why I've been practicing so much recently, I see. I'm not sure if Monica is referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. Uh, I chose not to bring up anything the three of us talked. La yeah, last time Saori was uh, doing some shit, stupid shit, so we didn't tell her about that. This time we're not talking about the fucking creepy demonic shit they did last time, which holy shit, that fucking threw me off. Uh, hopefully this time for the next two hours it's a little bit more tame. Natsuki has already run off into the closet. I literally have my headphones like kind of off. I just have my mic in front of me and uh, I'm not listening to anything, any sort of music or anything because I know I'm gonna get creeped the fuck out. Uh, blood. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean in the club. Yes, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just wouldn't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you uh, have so much energy. Yeah? But I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of book out of a bag. I should have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that uh, makes make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. It's, it's funny, and you know, I usually do stuff on my phone, and because of which, um, you know, visual novels on fucking screen, which is like fucking huge. Uh, it's kind of, it kind of throws me off, especially when it's horror stuff. I mean, if I'm playing this, I might as well play, um, what was that game called? Fucking, it's a space game with like killing and stuff. Fucking hell, how did I forget the name of that game? But regardless, it's a game that I was meaning to play for a long time. It was horror based, so I kind of was like, eh, shouldn't play it, but now I will. Maybe. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher for her s for the self, the kind with a filter inside. Right, this is when we went out to get some water. Can I hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher, also fetches an electric kettle. I feel like I've lowered the volume or something, because usually even with my headphones kind of off, I can still hear it, but I guess I'm not hearing it now. With an electric kettle, plug this in a teacher desk, get some water. She walks past me, settles the desk down, simply watch her movement. She's really good at it ethical, melodical, whatever. Uh, walk with you, that's okay. You stay here, it won't take long. Yeah, last time she didn't say all that. I guess she's going to cut herself or something. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries off out of the classroom. Yeah, last time we went with her. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling a water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. What is wrong with Monica now? Um, 10 minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Uh, is something holding her up? I'm bored, just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. She is in a corner cutting herself. Let's see. The most logical place uh, for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. Started heading down the hallway. I never understood the concept of water fountain. Like it's a like it's literally a fucking like a thing that pops water out. Like that feels like a prime place for some people to like put all sort of shit on that fucking thing. Like uh, holy shit. Maybe maybe it's not as bad out there, but like fucking hell. Like people would have destroyed that sort of shit. Um, 
Especially if it spouts water upward. Man. Fucking, I mean, even taps are fucking getting destroyed, so... <laughs> fucking water fountains would have been destroyed f ASAP, so... Yeah, let's not even talk about that. Let's try heading down the hallway. And she's breathing hard. Can I hear anything? Yeah, it's normal music so far. Oh, she is panting, panting. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking in, sucking the air through their teeth. Yeah, she was, she was probably cutting herself. Or then pain. I reach the corner, peer around it. Yuri? Oh, damn. No more music? Wow, she has loads of cut. I thought she was, like, slightly cutting herself. Didn't expect her to, like, fucking mutilating herself. I reach around the... What the fuck is all this? Oh. The, we, Monica just reversed this? Monica literally just reversed fucking time. And this time I didn't get as creeped her out because my headphones are off. So there's no music to add to it. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Wow, Monica literally reversed time so that uh, we don't have to see that. Is she... Uh, what is Monica's intention exactly? Like, is she... Does she want to fucking... Like, trouble us? Or does she, like, want to just, like... She's a yandere, want to keep us to herself or whatever? Thanks for waiting patiently. Would you like oolong tea? Oh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. You reset the temperature of the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. Yeah, I shouldn't... Yeah, yeah, same thing. Expert tea. More impressed. Uh, perhaps getting the measured tea leaves. Humming, humming to herself. I was letting it show. Yeah, the intense bullshit. I'm doing a bit of thinking. I decided that I would try to express myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, blood. It's very enduring. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a, a cup of tea for each of us, but I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why is that? It's a little easier on my back. Oh, because of tits. Yeah, last time she mentioned that as well. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have a back pain fairly regularly. I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I know why that is. <laughs> it's most likely because of my... Oh boy. My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over while reading. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same shit, same shit. Retrieve the books. I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it goes so well with the tea. You and I sit against the wall, teacups at our side. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position at the same time, each holding one half of the book. Expect, except this time, about it. Yeah, yeah, this is the same. I can't see too well. You resize closer until. Well, can't we smell the blood? Like, it's like right there on her arm. And if it's fresh, we should be able to smell it. I'm supposed to focus, focus on reading like that. She's kind of cute, less apprehensive, almost I can handle. Teacup, teacup. A position. Where is the cutscene? Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears an intense expression while reading. I can only presume the worlds around her faded away. Uh, willpower to focus. After a few minutes, I managed to relax a little bit. Uh, put the teacup between my legs, fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's. That's okay, I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Not bad. You don't need to apologize. I'll ho hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Alright. What is, what is happening? Oh, oh this is the cutscene. Cut yeah, this yeah, time, this time what is going to happen differently? Let's see. Uh, uh, the same shit, hand, hand in place. We should put some candy, candy into, her into her mouth or something. Or something. Hold up Yuri, she doesn't look, look, just like puts it in her mouth, I can't stop here, apparently, apprehensively place the chocolate in the mouth, just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it, huh? It suddenly breaks, did I, did I just, looks at me, confirm what happened, um, blood, so, sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that, right, I remember all that, she's breathing, I can't, blood, suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my arms and jerks me to my feet, teacup gets knocked over, blood, my heart, my heart won't stop pounding, blood. And no, and no music. music. I'm gonna the keep the headphones off just in case the creepy music kick kicks in. And did she, did she pull me into the fucking closet, closet or something? I can't calm down. Is she gonna cut us? Can't focus, can't focus on anything anymore. Can you, can you feel it, blood? You recently presses my hand against her chest. Why is this, Why is this happening, happening to me? I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. stop. Even it makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, damn. Look at those eyes. Those are some human ass eyes. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen enough um, uh, ugly bastard hint. I don't know where this is going. Are we doing something else? What is with the human eyes? Um, it's time to share poems. Well, that was absurd. Uh, well, we usually show it to Monica, Yuri anyway, so we'll show it to Yuri, I suppose. I've been waiting for this. Uh, let's see what you've written for today. 
Is she not gonna talk about what the fuck she was doing over there? He says the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Yeah, blood. This might, one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Because yesterday I was telling you the kind of technique worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good, you did a good job explaining. I really want you to give it, a, uh, giving it more imagery. You visibly swallows. When her hands appear sweaty. Ah, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing uh, that I'm valued, blood. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. And how's pounding just holding it? And she is going crazy. I mean, it's an ugly bastard, except for there's no ugly bastard. So, I suppose it's kind of like obsession, but I guess less yonderish. I mean, it feels yonderish, but it doesn't feel like exactly yonderish just yet. Maybe we'll get there. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad blood? I'm not weird, right? right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. Right now, I just want to read my. I just want you to read my poem too, okay? Let's, Let's see what, what she has done, done this time, because this, this is not the way of her riding. Wheel. Rotating wheel, wheel, turning on axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, dog ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a horse, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheel, existence of God, a swimming with open water, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes. Uh, a thread, thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, stakes exponential gearbox, a, a sky of exploding stars, God disapproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, uh, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every one second, a bolt head of um, holy stakes tied to the existence of a dog ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood, written in clocks, a uh, time devouring prayer connected a sky. Um, connecting, connecting a sky, sky to 40 years, years and open human eyes, eyes on direction breathing gearbox breathing bolt head breathing ship breathing portal breathing snakes breathing God breathing blood breathing holy stakes breathing human eyes breathing time breathing prayer breathing sky breathing wheel I'm amazed I didn't fumble any of the words usually when I'm continuously reading I'm fumbling words I guess uh, my skills are getting better that is not even a poem doesn't really, really matter what it's about my mind has been a little hyperactive lately so I had to take it out on, a, on your pen that is, that is a, a pen, pen fell, fell out of your backpack, backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and um, I just really like the way that it writes, that it writes. so I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Okay, okay now, now we're, we're getting to the under territory. I'm okay. But did I just? Can we pretend this conversation conversation never happened? Uh, uh, you can keep the poem though. Uh, who should I show my? She is nothing to say about that. Let's go to Monica, I suppose. Blood, I think you saw something early that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excited when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Uh, she even brings up a uh, different one to school every day, like she's a collection or something. Yeah, she does have a collection of knives. She didn't mention that. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just uh, gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is you've been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. Uh, but I guess that's why I had a, I had a explain, explain it all to you. So I'm guessing she's either going to cut herself to death or she's going to cut us to death or something or maybe cut Natsuki to death or something. But one of them is going to die definitely. So I think uh, if you keep your distance, it will be probably the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. But would likely, I at least have it together in my head and know how to treat my club members. I know how to treat my club members, but anyway. You want to read my poem now? I like the way it tur this one turned out. Save me. The colors, they won't bright. Be beautiful colors, ex flashing, expanding, piercing, red, blue, green, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating. Um, I don't, I don't know, know what that, that is. is. Uh, so, so a king, king screeching, screeching, piercing, sign cause tangent, like, like playing a chalkboard on, turnable like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage, endless poem of meaningless. Delete her. Yeah, this, yeah, this is, is where the file shit is coming in. Okay, okay are you done? Okay, okay. Sorry, 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 I know it's kind of abstract. abstract. I'm, just I'm just trying to, um, um well, well, never mind. There's no, There's no, point, no point in explaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Get there. I, I, I'm gonna go for all, all endings, so I'm trying to find different stuff. stuff. Anyway, anyway uh, uh, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when I'm... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. 
That's my, That's my advice for today. Thank you for listening. Now I'm, Now I'm getting goosebumps, goosebumps already. already.